Hey guys, Waterfaller41 here, and in today's video, we are going to be installing something that I think needs to be factory on every truck. Again, just like the, my last video, the bed lights, there are certain things that honestly I'm not sure why they don't come from the factory this way. I think it's just to kind of nickel and dime us. But um, we are going to be installing some utility parts to the bed. So basically, what we're looking at here are tie down kits that are manufactured by a company called DZ. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you know I'm a huge fan of DZ. I got the DZ bed step as well as the DZ NXT running boards. I'm a huge fan of their products. It's a really good Midwestern company. They're right out of Iowa. Love the quality and everything. I've never been upset with anything I've installed for them. So let's dive into what we're looking at here. So like I said, these are the DZ tie down kits. These are part number DZ97913. So essentially what these do is this is a kit that will give you the ability to mount tie downs where you see these factory holes. So some of the trucks you get from the factory from Ram already have that utility rail. So it's basically a rail going from side to side and they have tie downs here. I do not have that in my truck. So um, when I bought it, it was just kind of bare bones as far as the bed. I had to get the bed liner in there. I had to put the bed lights in there. So now I have to add my own tie downs. I have the lower ones, however, when I'm carting a lot of my fishing stuff or hunting stuff or, or just when we're heading up to our summer home, it is a pain in the butt trying to reach all the way down there from outside the truck to uh, add my bungee straps to and whatnot. So having additional tie down points here, 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 basically right across the top, I'll be able to access them from outside of the truck instead of having to hop up in there. So you have in the factory bed, you have four positions on each side that you could add these tie downs to. You don't need to buy all four of these. You could get just a one pack, you can get two packs, you can get three packs, however many you want to add as many tie downs as you want to the bed. But to fill in every hole that you have on the truck bed right now, you would need eight of these tie downs. So basically four of these kits. So let's take a look at what comes in the kit. Uh, before we do that, you already have, if you don't have the utility rail, you at least already have the holes drilled in the bed. So you got the holes there and you can see the holes right about here. They're already there. You just need to make sure that they're wide enough to fit some of the hardware that you need to install. But other than that, you're not drilling any new holes. You're not doing any sort of cutting, welding, or anything like that. These should technically be a bolting kit with the exception of modifying the bed liner. We'll get to that in a second. So in each of the kits, what do you get? You get two tie downs. So one kit gives you two, so you could either put one there, one over here, or two next to each other, however you want to do it. Or in my case, got all of them. So I'll do all four on that side. All four on this side will be good. In the kit, in order to install these tie downs to the side of the bed, you need to install nut certs. And we'll get into those in a second in terms of how to install those. Then you get the hardware to go into the nut certs, and then you get the nuts, nut cert installing bearing and screw. So in this video, I won't, I, I'm not only gonna show you how to install these guys, but I'm also gonna show you how these nut certs work because especially with truck bed and adding uh, accessories and whatnot to sheet metal, these are a huge help. Um, and there's a specific way that these need to be installed. As far as tools, you're gonna need a drill with a 10 millimeter bit on it. If you have a spray and bed liner, um, I have the Rhino liner, which is generally pretty thick. So I need to make sure that those holes are gonna be an actual, that they're gonna give me the clearance to get the nut certs in there. So I'll have to drill out some of them just to make sure that the liner is cleared and out of the way. Then you're gonna need um, metric Allen wrench, I forget what size this is, and then you're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench. And what you need these to do is, those are for installing the nut certs, and then after you get the nut certs installed, use the Allen wrench to tighten down the hardware there. So let's go ahead and get everything set up, and I will show you how these nut certs work. All right, so let's take a look at how you set up this nut cert installation apparatus in order to install these nut certs here. So the first thing you want to do is find the long bolt that comes in the kit and thread that nut on there. Then you're gonna find your little bearings here. So you get two bushings or two washers and the wash, the washers have little, pat, uh, little uh, I guess troughs or little tracks in them. So you wanna make sure that the top washer, so you got the bolt, nut, first washer, you got the little indent there. Then you take your bearing, you slide that over like so. Then you take your other washer and you wanna make sure that the track on this one is also facing the bearing. So that bearing has a nice smooth surface to roll in. Then the next thing you wanna do is take one of your nut certs here and thread this guy on here. You wanna make sure you clear the threads a little bit. And then from there, you can tighten this down just a smidge. So at this point, you're now ready to install the nut cert. So the way this works is you, I'm gonna drill out the hole for a 10 millimeter opening 
I'm gonna pop this nutser in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold, with an Allen wrench, I'm gonna hold this side and then I'm gonna tighten down this 10 millimeter nut. And what's that, what that's gonna do is it's gonna pull the bottom of the nutser towards the top. And it's basically gonna crimple or crunch this portion of it, which will hold up against the sheet metal. So essentially you're gonna have, let's see, we'll use this as an example. So it's gonna install in the hole and then as you tighten it, it's gonna crumple up and hold up against, push up against the back of the sheet metal. So then you have the nuts are in there. Then after that's installed and tightened down, you don't need to get crazy tight with it, but enough to basically hold everything still in place up against that sheet metal. Then you just pull everything out and then this should be left inside the sheet metal. So it's kind of a one and done thing. So you get one opportunity to pop this guy in. So then once this guy is installed, let's pretend that's installed here. Then you take the bottom of the brackets and you have these flush mount screws here. Those will thread just like that. And let's say this is already attached to the bed. And that's essentially how it's gonna hold to the truck bed. But again, this is gonna be crunched up. So let's show you the whole thing. So you get four nut certs per kit because you're gonna have to do this four times. So it's gonna be installed up against the truck bed like that. And then you take your your little hoop thing, install it there, and then there's a screw that goes through here. That's where these guys come in. It threads through here and holds everything up against the wall. So one of the first things you're probably gonna ask is what is the weight limit? DZ says the weight limit is 250 pounds. So each one of these will rate to 250 pounds. So don't get crazy. Definitely stay away from ratcheting straps. I hate those in general, uh, especially for tying everything down in the bed. They're crazy strong and you can get carried away with them. Just use the regular um, typical straps where you pull and they just have the tongue that, or the, the teeth that bite down on it. Don't use ratcheting because you can get carried away with it. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the bed here and we're gonna drill out all of the holes and make sure that we're 10 millimeters on each one of them, which basically just means clearing the bed liner on each of the hole. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and drilled out all our holes. Uh, be really careful because the only thing separating these holes from the outside of your truck is absolutely nothing. So if that drill bit catches, you could potentially send it through the outside of your truck. So be really careful, go slow. What I found helpful is I just screwed the drill bit in a little bit and then I reversed it just to open up the opening for the, uh, the nut certs that we're about to install. So now that we got those at 10 millimeters, you basically, you should have your your nut cert um, set up for installation. So again, you got the bolt, the nut, and then you got the bearing here so that everything's gonna rotate nicely. And then you have the nut cert and you got a, you went a couple threads past the end. That way it gives it enough pulling power to crunch down this section. So essentially this section of the nut cert is what's gonna fold up and hold up against that sheet metal. So all you gotta do then is just take it, insert it in there like that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold that down and then we're gonna take our Allen head, we're gonna hold the bolt itself and then we're gonna tighten the 10 millimeter nut. And as you tighten that, what's gonna happen is you're gonna tighten this, you're basically gonna pull this bolt straight out. So the more you tighten this, the slowly, or s the more you tighten this, the more this portion of the nut sir is actually gonna fold and bend up against the back of the sheet metal and then you'll essentially have your mounting point for your tie downs. So this is really hard to do with the camera in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and install these two. Pretty simple, take your time with this one. Uh, you're gonna be doing it one, two, three, four, five, six, 16 times. So by the time you get to the 16th, 15th or 16th one, you're gonna be a pro. Okay, so I have the first nut cert installed. It's nice and tight. Now we're gonna pull it out. So really the best, the easiest way to pull it out is just take your 10 millimeter bolt or 10 millimeter wrench and just go left with that nut and then the whole assembly should roll out and then we're just gonna go ahead and do the next one. So I got 15 more of these to do. I'm gonna go ahead and rock and roll with it. Uh, as far as how tight to make these, when you're backing it out, if you see that nut start, start to uh, twist, then you're not tight enough. So you wanna make sure it's nice and tight. My gauge is if it starts to dig in a little bit into the bed liner, then we're good to go. So let's go ahead and get the rest of these done. Okay, now that we have our nut certs installed, we're gonna go ahead and install the base bracket to the nut certs, and then we'll get the tie down installed as well. So the first thing we wanna do is find the, the hardware. It basically sinks into these countersunk holes, so it clears everything. Those are the right ones. We're gonna take our Allen head and then just simply tighten it down right in there. There's no orientation, no right or wrong orientation. These things can go uh, both ways, basically, so you don't need to be careful on that. 
like this. And these are threading right into the nut certs we just installed. So you'll know if they're tight enough if you're able to tighten these guys down. So there's the top. The bottom is installed. All right. So now the next thing we're going to do is finish it up. So we're just going to throw this guy on there, and then we have our tie-down installed. So with these, you have a button head, on, uh, button head hex screw that's just going to basically thread to that guy. And then you access it through this little hole. So let's put it there. Tighten it down. You don't got to get crazy tight with these because remember this is aluminum. So while aluminum won't rust, it also is kind of weak when it comes to uh, either cross threading or over torquing it. So don't get crazy tight. But there we go. Now we have one tie down installed. So now what we could do is we could either strap straps on there or in another video, I'll show you how we utilize this opening and uh, install a rail on here. So let me go ahead and install the rest of these guys. All right, well, we are installed. So a little bit of a hand exercise, especially when you got to put those nut certs in because getting them started does take a little bit of force, but we have now four new installation or four new tie downs on each side. So we got one tucked up in the corner there and two, three, four down the edge there works well with my bed lights too so as far as installation pretty simple tools definitely make sure you have a drill with a 10 millimeter drill bit just to make sure that those holes are cleared and they have enough tolerance to fit the nut certs originally then you're going to need a 10 millimeter wrench as well as hex uh, hex head or allen wrenches to make sure that you can hold those bolts and basically all the hardware uses a hex head so that is the installation i did a quick run through of one whole installation start to finish. So we're gonna go ahead and, and take a look at that. I'll speed it up so it's not so boring. that's how you install the DZ97913 tie down kit. So again, this is the part from DZ. This installs in the factory locations and the factory holes where the OEM uh, utility bed rail would install if you don't have it. Uh, works awesome, no drilling at, or no hole cutting or anything like that required. Really all you gotta do with the drill is just to make sure you clear the bed liner out of the way so you have enough uh, room to install the nut certs. But super easy installation. Now I got eight extra tie down points for the kayak, the four wheeler, tree stand, whatnot. So everything's gonna stay secure. Again, this is something that needs to come factory, but it doesn't. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Definitely check out my Instagram. I'll leave a link to my Instagram down below. Um, appreciate you guys watching, subscribe, comment, like, do what you can to keep uh, videos like this coming. Thank you very much for watching, bye. <laughs>